You know what? All right. He's a free man. We ain't together no more. Don't tag us. Don't tag me. None of his shit. Well, then. Do me a favor. I promise I ain't gonna cry. I promise I ain't gonna cry, but bring that back more. But have you ever, in any of your relationships, have you ever just wanted to like be with somebody else? Like you're in a relationship, you you love this person you're in a relationship with, but you want to tip your venture off, dip your, yeah, dip your toe in somebody I else. At us as women, our answer will be will be different because we are emotional creatures, I agree. and I feel like. You know, when I was younger, I used to have the tit for tat mentality, and I actually I cheated on my ex husband with Chad. Really? I, I wouldn't say cheat because I mentally checked out. I understand. Um, so you were Chad. almost done with that relationship. I was done. So you were. I done was with mentally that checked I out. Um, and I grew an emotional attach. So it was like I was already sexually, physically attracted to him. So it just made it even better. But see, that doesn't feel like tit for tat. It just feels like you was done and somebody else caught your attention. But at the age I'm, I'm at now, I felt like it was wrong because I should have ended that relationship fully. Yeah, um, I agree. I was younger and at that time, I was focused on myself and trying to get over everything that I went through. And if I would go back, I probably wouldn't have did what I did, but it happened. I don't, you know, I can't go back and change it. Um, does, does that affect your relationship now? With us? Yeah. Of course. So do you feel like Chad may not trust you as much because he knows you was with her in other? I wouldn't say it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect Chad and our relationship because I told him the reason why I did what I did. Mm -hmm. Um but it does affect my ex-husband and mm -hmm. our relationship. We do have a child together. It affect a lot. We don't communicate at all. Yeah. I bought my son the phone. That's how we communicate. Because um, as a man, their pride is very hard. It's like, I understand. you know, you basically, I took care of things you should have. But they don't see what they do. Mm -mm. They just look at what you do, that one thing that you do, and you're the worst person ever. Yeah. They can't take it. They can't they take, it. They can't they take can, what they, they did. You break up with somebody. Is there the time limit in which you can go public with another person? No, I, I don't think there's a time limit, but I, I think... Nah, you need to grovel. I need to know you hurt. If you right away, uh, you ain't love me anyway. Forget about love. If she moves on right away, she was already talking to that individual, you know, planting that seed while y'all were still together. You think so, Ocho? That's why the transition and moving on was so easy. Because see, for once, she was already mentally checked out anyway. Ooh, Lord. My grandpa used to say, boy, if they'll cheat with you, they'll cheat on you. Don't let that go over your head, chat. I've said it before myself. Whatever they're willing to do with you when they're not yours, they will do to you when they belong to you. The cycle will continue to repeat itself over and over and over and over. My bad. Yeah, you, My bad. You talk relationships bad. again. He, he. Nah, I talk no relationships. Ocho, I got to read. I read the room. Let me have a little something. It's a little hot in here. I read the room. See? Hey, hey, hey have a, have, how you don't even have no compassion? You don't know what I'm going through right now. I know what you do. You got a great situation. Fix it now. Nah. Well, shoot, I, I, I'm i blocked, so you might need to make that call for me. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not funny. Because, because here's the thing. When people say the grass is greener, okay, what type of fertilizer you use? How often you water it? See, they don't tell you that. You say don't call her no more? No. Okay, you good. Because anytime a woman tell me don't call, don't worry about it. Block, erase the number. Oh no, you'll never get me for stalking. Nah. Oh, I don't play that. So be choose wisely. <laughs> Man, look here. No lie. Rail it to cuss me out. Uh 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 uh. Oh, <laughs> well, goddamn hell, <laughs> rail. <laughs> hey. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Damn. Hey. You hey, you better you may. It looked like you stayed in a dungeon or a basement oh, or something. I'm, I'm, but you better get hold you on, there. I'm in Houston. I mean, right? Oh, I, went, okay. I came to a day party at um, uh, what's it called again? Chapman at Chapman and Kirby. Hey, I'd have been on, I'd have been on a, what you call? I'd have been on a flight back trying to work, trying to fix that. Oh, I can't because I don't just, know. I, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'm, 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 I'm blocked. I, I don't, I don't know what to do. 
Look here, that's one thing about you, Ocho. You a wise man. Uh, the one thing I know about men, they can and figure it You know it out. what? You know what I can't do though? And I, I could talk to you and yeah. chat, you know. Like remember how you say if you if you live publicly, if you live it publicly, you break up publicly. Yeah, it's so, so it's okay. See, I can I can deal with that though. I can deal with that. The stove take your take it offline. Hey, um, the stove is hot, bro. So I don't, I, I don't I, need, I, I can I, imagine. The stove is hot. Right? All I'm saying is, did she did, uh, as long did she say don't call her no more? No. Okay, you good because anytime a woman tell me don't call, don't worry about it. Block, erase the number. Oh no, you'll never get me for stalking. Nah. Look, at the end of the day. It's two adults. Y'all both grown. Um, you can get into a room. You can figure it out if that's what the both of y'all want. So I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna let. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all. I'm gonna let y'all handle that. Hey. Uh, you know, I thank the world of both of y'all. But uh, y'all, 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 y'all can. Why don't you do me a favor? What? Why don't you be the moderator? <laughs> 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 you laughing? Cause hey, ain't no, ain't no, ain't, that ain't funny, man. What? That hurt? What? Yes, but here's the, but here's the thing, Ocho. Here's the thing. Give it, a, give it, give it a day or two. Let her calm down. Um, it's fresh. It's really fresh now. Um, but you need to stay offline. Both of y'all need to stay oh, offline. I, that's the that's, all I do is tweet normal. Stay, I tweet football. That's it. Both of you stay offline, and and next time. If this thing is to be repaired, keep it offline. Y'all don't have to be That's so what I mean. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. You ain't have to be so public and you might be watching. <laughs> Man, look here. You know, first date. You know, I'm at McDonald's. We had the drive through. Huh? Yeah. You did that? Yes. And she was cool with that? Man, listen, she started ordering before I even pulled up to the thing. Let me get a. Oh, this is it. Okay. Listen, I had cut. Man, listen. Ah! That, she, that was it. Man, sorry, I was, I was in love. I was in love a little, a little too early, but right. then. Just did, you the have fact, to, did you have to start slow? But like, damn, I'm moving too fast. I got to slow this I, thing down. Yeah, slow down a little bit. Okay. Slow down a little bit because I, I had I had to pump my brakes because I thought about, listen, anytime you meet someone, it is their representative because you want to put your best foot forward. Correct. But they was straightforward. Man, this is me. Honestly, the one thing that kind of scared me that she said was when we met was, listen, I don't even need you. Ooh! I actually want you. And based on what she had going on what? in life, she was in a, in a position of power to say stuff has like it, that. Has a woman ever told you that before? No. That's scary. It hit every, different, didn't it? Yeah, it hit different. I, I, I didn't like, like it. Okay. You I, didn't like I, it? I, no, I, no, no, no. I'm just, I, didn't, I didn't like it, but I've never heard that before. And the right. fact to have someone in a position of power in their and own right. And you know right, she didn't really need you. At all. Not not at all. And that, that was scary. So what what you, what you want me for? What you want me for? And then she broke down why, and that's a whole nother story. But that was nice. I don't need you. That was I don't the. I don't, I don't. I don't need you. I mean, with with the with the ugly face too. Yeah. Look, look me up and down. Cause you know, my, I ain't. I ain't. I like. Unk, we got into it again. I I, I I bullshit you not, and I'm not even playing it. She right here. Unk, I, you know, you y'all had first watch out there. Where you at? First watch. Yeah, first watch. It's like um, like a Denny's, an IHOP, a little bit more. I don't want to use the word upscale, but a little more. Until he froze. Yeah. So. I mean, I mean breakfast, right? Yes. I mean breakfast. I get my normal. I get my my French toast, mm -hmm. and I get my steak and eggs, right. right? And I get my fruit bowl. Okay. So she called my phone. So I placed the phone up. I got the phone in my hand, and I'm eating my food. Right. So I got I got my sunglasses. I got my sunglasses sitting on my head. Right. 
my sunglasses fall by accident, right? Not by accident. And I put them back up real fast. And the waitress was in front of me. Rail, rail. Who is think that? Somebody sitting at, she say, man, who in the fuck is that sitting in front of you? I know you're not fucking playing with me. Put your glasses back down. So I took my glasses and I'm like, and I put them down on the table. She's like, Chad, don't you fucking play with me. Right. Hell- I hear you in the background real laughing. And like she think it's funny. She say, I say, Mike, what are you talking about? Turn the camera around. I turn the camera around. Oh, he didn't turn the camera around. He didn't turn the camera Hold around. Hold on, listen. Uh, I turn the camera around. My plate of food is right there. My French toast. I had finished already and I'm I'm eating my steak and eggs. I'm like, man, what is your problem? Then the waitress comes right back out right again. And now the waitress nervous because she can hear her cursing. And I'm confused. Well, you act it up like that, Ralph. Um, um, it was it was it was it was it was so it was so embarrassing <laughs> because I, I didn't want to snap. And the waitress was like, the waitress got scared because she could hear her cursing. So the waitress went away the first time. And she came back to make sure oh, everything was okay. Oh, that was like, That was real. That was real. Um, <laughs> boy, um, I saw, boy, she snapped. Um, she Brad, snapped. You it, snapped it, on it for it, real, real. Uh, I was like, put your glasses back down. It was it no, looked, no. Tell, yes. tell them how you did it. Do it. Don't, 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 don't laugh. Put your glasses back down. I didn't say that. Said, did you tell? Did you tell him? No. He was playing in your face, real. They don't fucking nope. play in my face now. You better not be fucking playing in my face. That's what I say. No, say it how you said it. Say it how you said I'm it over the phone. Say it. <laughs> say it just how you said it. No. Man, she would talk, she would talk to me like I'm like I'm not even Ocho. Like she like <laughs> uh, we, we almost got into it. But again, she she apologized, said I was sorry because when my glasses fell and they went back up, she saw the the um reflection of the waitress sitting in front of yeah, me. Right. And it was her. And by the time I it dawned on me what she was talking about, because she was confusing me, because instead of just communicating and talking normal, she was screaming like she was my homeboy and like she wanted to fight. <laughs> I, was, I, had, I had a tone in my voice, but I was I don't scream. Um, Man, yeah. I just right. had but you just let you wanted to let him know the seriousness of what you were saying. No, she was she was getting ahead and about, oh, I was finna pull up on you and yeah, I was about to pull up, baby. <laughs> Hey, I'm talking about straight, <laughs> straight hood, straight out the hood, out the hood. Oh, I but, think sorry uh, about for that. Me, but go ahead. I forgot. I forgot to tell you about that story, man. Yeah, my, my mine, bad. mine is words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like reassurance. In 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 other yeah. words. Okay. I appreciate you. Appreciate right. What you do. Right. Love you. You great. Blah mm-hmm. blah blah. You work hard. That's it. That's it. Hmm. I've gotten really good because I've spent so much time being by myself. Right, right, it right. Ain't no quality time. Mm-hmm. It ain't nothing. I don't need no gifts. Hey, just say you appreciate me. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. Like that's that's enough. Yeah. You celebrate your birthday? Not really. Yeah. So so we the same. I ain't, I ain't celebrated my, my birthday in years. Mm-hmm. I think I, I told Red when we first when we first met. Listen, I'm I'm not in all that. Eleven fifty nine. All I like to do is I like to say a prayer. The day of my birthday, I go have me some coffee, Starbucks, or I go mm-hmm. to my Cuban spot, my cafe or leche, give me a cigar, a celebratory cigar. Thank God for seeing another year. Boom, I'm good. I'm on a video game. She surprised me one time with my kids. That's why my mama, my, my, my text message from my mama is still in my phone. I refuse to erase them. As long as I can keep them, I'm going to keep them there. Right. The real plan something for me anyway. After I said, I don't want to do nothing. She did all this planning. Guess who she forgot to invite? Your mama. Boy, my mama got win because it, it was just me, Rail, and my kids, the older kids. Everybody won there. You know, she just a little, little small, little, little, little small intimate. Little, together. Yeah. Real small. But she, she didn't invite my mama. Boy, my mama done cussed Rail out, boy. Hey, <laughs> via text message. And mind you, the messages from my mama. The message from my mama after my birth after, after my birthday and finding out that real and that bitch that didn't motherfucker oh man she went off what? and those those yeah what my my mama Hurricane Paula those are the last messages that I had from see. my mama that she ever sent and I, I still got them saved and unk it's about the it's about a a whole <laughs> dissertation of her snapping on all of us she done wrote like two or three she done text two hey, or three pages man listen. 
And but real, real, real didn't mean to do it because at the time, me and my mama, we weren't talking. Right. We weren't, we weren't even talking. And she so didn't want to put you in a situation. She didn't want to put me in a situation. Where she and you my, who and, told you to invite? Yeah, and the, yeah, exactly. And and um, we we weren't in a good space. And just in it. Oh shit! Let me get off of that, that topic. But yeah, man. But mm-hmm. I, I, I just I just I just thought about that. Uh, the seventeen shot king said honestly, Chad should should be a Hall of Famer. Andre Johnson is my guy. Stats very similar. Chad has less catches. What you think? I, I listen, Dre, man. Dre is one of one of the best of all time. He's he's yeah. deserving of that. The Hall of Fame is cool. It is it is a great honor for those that do make it. But I think I'm gonna be all right without it. I like my I like my my one on one jacket that nobody else got. <laughs> I like I like that one on one nobody else got. Love someone, but not be in love. Stay right there. Let me holler at you real quick. No, I don't want to waste no time. <laughs> Now, do you love me? Do you love Ocho or are you in love with Ocho? I am in love with you uh-huh. and I love you. Okay. Are, are you sure? Baby. How do I know if love requires that you become vulnerable, that you're willing to open yourself up, open. you're willing to fall and know that rail will catch you. Hold on now. Come here, come here, come here real quick. We got we gotta do the <laughs> test now. Yeah, right there. <laughs> It's gonna let me know if you're gonna last, if I can trust her, if she catch me, because you're only as, as strong as your foundation, huh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I need to breathe. I took my whole game and setup, and I went to my grandma's house for four, for four, five days. What? I need to exhale for a little bit. I need to breathe for a little bit. Nightcap would have been my outlet. <laughs> I didn't have nightcap. Real, tell your side of the story, Real. Well, I left. I went to a party and I was, you know, the tequila was talking. <laughs> oh, yeah, this was the last straw. She went to a party with a homegirl, right? Yeah. And hit me on the phone at the party. It was like 1230. You say, baby, I'm on that Don Julio. You better be ready when I get home. Oh, I done took a shower. I done lotioned up. Well, I'm finna wear her ass out. <laughs> so she come home. I pretend like I'm asleep, though. <laughs> so she get in the bed. I let five minutes go by. I'm pretending like I'm still asleep. All of a sudden, all I hear is, <laughs> I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. I put on my slides and I cleared it. I wish somebody would have called me talking about, hey, soon as the car pull up in the driveway. Yeah. And them light cut off. Oh, that's for me. <laughs> and when she opened the door, <laughs> baby all right there. I took my whole game and set up. In a surprising twist in the world of celebrity relationships, former NFL star Chad Akisinko Johnson, and reality TV personality Sherelle Rosado have officially called off their engagement. The news broke on Saturday, October 26, when Rosado, 37, took to X to share the update with her followers. In her post, she stated that Chad and she are no longer together and asked people to please stop tidying them, adding a playful note that he is a free man, ladies. This bold declaration has sent fans buzzing, as Akasinko, 46, quickly echoed her sentiments by reposting her statement, accompanied by a GIF from Arrested Development that shows the character George Michael looking dejected. It seems both parties are navigating this breakup with a mix of humor and honesty. The couple who welcomed their daughter Serenity just two years ago got engaged in January 2023, marking a significant milestone in their relationship. Fans had watched their romance unfold on social media, where they often showcased their support for each other. Just 10 days before the breakup announcement, Rosado had shared a post promoting Akasinko's upcoming appearance on the game show Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity, hosted by NFL star Travis Kels. It was clear they were still maintaining a united front until very recently. In an interesting twist of fate, Johnson's split comes shortly after he had a notable encounter with soccer legend David Beckham. According to Akasinko, he sought advice on maintaining a long-lasting marriage during their meeting. In a reflective post, he shared that Beckham emphasized the importance of patience in relationships. One can't help but wonder if this advice took on new meaning in light of his recent every other layer to this narrative. On the same day as his conversation with Beckham, Akasinko posted a photograph of a McDonald's bag with the caption date night. However, Rosado was notably absent from that image, raising eyebrows and speculation about the state of their relationship at the time. The timeline of their relationship has been a whirlwind, from their engagement announcement in early 2023, where Rosado expressed her shock and excitement to people, saying she was honestly shocked and at a loss for words. To this abrupt ending, it's clear that their journey has been filled with ups and downs. As fans digest the news, many are reflecting on the couple's past moments together, their shared joy over serenity, 
and the public support they display. It's a reminder of how quickly circumstances can change in the world of celebrity romance. So, what's next for Chad Akasinko? It's officially back on the market, and ladies, the spotlight is on him. Will he dive back into dating or take some time to reflect on what he truly wants in a relationship? Only time will tell. For now, it seems that both he and Risado are navigating this new chapter in their lives with dignity and a touch of humor. As we continue to follow their stories, one thing is for sure. The world of celebrity relationships is never dull, and the split adds another layer to the ongoing saga of love life and everything in between. Stay tuned, folks, there's more to come from both Akasinko and Risado as they embark on this next.